Hello everyone and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to talk about matching skin tones. So something very simple but also extremely important and missed by many people. Imagine the image, you have a beautiful model, everything is great, skin tones have more likely orangey tones and then you look at the legs of the model and the tones are red, magenta color, something around there and it just doesn't look well. So in this tutorial I'm going to give you simple tip to be precise one step advice how to fix such an issue. So have a look at this image uh, it won't be a really huge difference but you will it's easy to notice when you look at this image before and look at the model look at the uh, all of her her face her middle part, her uh, tummy, and then when you look at the legs, they don't really have nice tones. So I'm going to show you how in one step, go from this into this. Let me remove this simple group. And what I'm going to do at first, I'm going to open the adjustment layer that will help me to sort this out. So I'm opening my adjustment layers and I want to work with hue saturation. I'm going to rename this into legs so everyone can know what we are actually doing. Let's select the mask because this is crucial that will work just on the certain part. So you want to select just the legs. The easiest way to do this when you have studio image will be quick selection tool and then paint over the legs. As you can see, it's extremely simple. Once you get too far, you can simply do a step back or choose the brush with the minus and paint it back. Once it's done, invert this into your mask and then deselect. So our mask looks like this. It's not necessary as we like it because as you know from previous tutorial, the white layer mask represents everything what's visible, black color, invisible. So I want the effect to be visible on the legs. That's why I pressed Command or Control and I to invert this mask. So once it's done, I want the effect to be a little softer, like having soft transitions. So I'm going to Filter, Blur, and I'm going to use Gaussian Blur and apply radius maybe 20 pixels. Uh, just to make sure the transitions uh, will be softened. It could be less, it could be maybe 10, it could be 15. It really depends on the image. So once it's done, I go back to our image. And first of all, we know the hue is wrong. So have a look. If we go with the hue to the right way, we're going into more greenish, yellowish, than bluish. If we go into the left, it will go more into uh, red and magenta tones. So I want to go a few points the right side and make it more yellowish. I think it has also less saturation there, so I'm going to increase some of the saturation. It still should have some perfection, so I'm going to switch maybe into yellows and trying to improve it. Uh, not always it works great. In this case, if I improve the saturation here, I believe it rather works well, but you can also be much more precise doing this. For example, I'm going to do a step back. I'm going to choose color that simply I don't want. Let's go with magentas. I'm going to choose the eyedropper and then select the legs. And now we have reds number two. So improve the saturation on our reds number two and match the hue a little bit more. And now have a look before and after. Huge difference and now finally the legs are matching. I'm still not 100% sure about saturation, but that would be around that. As you can see, extremely simple tip to fix the image. Of course, just to mention, if you are curious who is the photographer, the credit is in the description and this is the image that was part of my um, Dutch and Bern course and the photographer was Lesia Lehmann, I believe I pronounced this right. And some of the things about the news, I was just doing some photography around the city, I was able to do some portraits, I will be trying to do much more 
of the portraits in the near future. I'm searching every single day. I'm trying to do more. So you can actually expect on this channel some of the great uh, portrait and this sort of tutorials. We'll be doing color grading. We'll be doing skin retouching. I believe I can find some really great people uh, to take images together, which means great things for this channel. And some of that, of course, will be published here on YouTube for free. Um, as long as I'm actually trying to familiarize myself more with photography, uh, because for those who don't know, I'm coming from retouching background. I'm actually fashion retoucher. That's my full time job and photography is my hobby. So I'm taking uh, my experience as a retoucher, my experience in Photoshop and other softwares, and I'm trying to connect this to my hobby uh, in photography, in which I'm not professional, but trying my best, and it gives you the best possible tutorials to make sure that your photography is absolutely amazing. So thank you for watching this simple tutorial. I hope you enjoyed, and I'm going to see you in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.